Hedera is going to open a rabbit hole. So we'll we'll do Hedera we'll do Hedera in a little bit. Um, but Poly Network. Uh, I just figured to take a quick look at Poly Network. I didn't really dive into Poly Network. Again, if you're joining in this crypto chill session, we're talking about Dovu. Talking about Dovu. And we are diving into the partners right now, and we are on the website for Poly Network. Poly Network is a listed partner. So we are checking what it's about, right? Dovu is about clean energy carbon credits. We're going to get into this Poly Network. Poly Network is a global cross chain protocol for implementing blockchain interoperability and building Web3 infrastructure. Poly Network has connected a variety of over 35 different blockchains, including popular ones such as Ethereum, Polygon, Arbitrum, and BNB Chain, as well as others such as Aptos, Optimism, Neo, Metis, and Gnosis Chain. We are starting to run into Gnosis everywhere, y'all, since the launch. The protocol has enabled cross-chain asset transfer of more than 16 billion USD. We are running into Gnosis everywhere, y'all. Everywhere. Didn't we just, um, what was it? It was a partner of Alef, which was Request Finance, which worked with the Sandbox to get, uh, they work with the sandbox to get payments working and integration or interoperability with the Gnosis network. Who I think that's what that was, y'all. Go back if you if you want to check me on that. I did it. I did it uh I did it live. So you can go back and check it on Shook Focus, uh youtube.com forward slash shook focus and look at the a left series and um I believe it's the it's the request finance partnership video but that was matter of fact let's just do it it's my content it ain't like i gotta be scared to go to it <laughs> youtube got me so paranoid man with that when they hit me with that daggone uh copyright so uh yeah so these were the partners of the poly network right this is what poly network is supposed to be man it's so easy to get off in left field when you're doing this uh bnb chain bitcoin ethereum right these are partners um or this is partners are some of these just um you know uh chains that they that they work on interoperable that their technology is compatible with uh okc cosmos elron avalanche phantom optimism metis polygon love to see it zilica neo gnosis chain and again Right, we go back to a left, another partner with Poly. Like this is, right, Harmony, um, Kava or Kava Labs, KuCoin, XRP Ledger. It's interesting that it says XRP Ledger and not just XRP. Um, CLV, Nauti Nautilus Chain, and excuse me, uh, Cloud TX. So again, this is a partner of Dovu, but I don't know if that's where we want to go first. First, we want to go to like what it is. Okay, here it is. Digital carbon retirement. Sacrifice NFTs to the black hole. So uh, let's take a look at this. Hear that music? Digital carbon retirement sacrifice. So I watched this through once earlier. Some of it clicked, not all of it, but we're going to watch it again and see what we get. Uh, watch again. Good afternoon. Morning. Where are you are in the world? Try to understand what this is. Uh, basically, it's, it's, a, uh, it's, like it's a burn mechanism, basically. Right? Black hole for, uh, for NFTs. Um, and these NFTs are going to be carbon credits is what we'll end up getting to. So let's go ahead and try to see if we can decipher anything from this explanation. For Dovu, and today I'm very excited to show you the black hole by Dovu. This is our path to carbon retirement on Hedera for digital assets, and this is the first stage towards that goal. What we have built here 
is the mechanism to burn any NFT on Hedera into the black hole. Very creative and very fun. And what it comprises of is a DAP. If you can click around, you can actually see the mass of the black hole right here. And you can actually check out our blog posts regarding the black hole and all the technical breakdowns. Now, let's begin. First, we're going to connect to our testnet account. We can see the selection of our NFTs here. And then we can see all of our NFTs that we have on our account. We can associate any of these NFTs to the black hole and actually throw them into the abyss of the black hole, remove them from our wallet. This may be a great idea in case you have spam or something you just don't want anymore to clean up the assets in your wallet, in your account. Let's take the ghost, dead pixels ghost pass and associate that. It takes a while. And once that is completed, we can now click in and the app automatically checks if the NFT can be cast into the abyss of the black hole. With that, we have a burn symbol. This allows us to throw it in. Click burn, execute smart contract. And with that, it's done. It gets cast into the black hole and gets executed right here. We can come back and it's been removed and now we have cast one into the abyss. We can share with our friends yeah. or you can just read the blog post. Have fun with this little dab and tell us what you think while we continue to build out a full time protocol for carbon assets. So, all right, building a um, building a burn mechanism for uh, for Hedera. I, I didn't mean to do that. So, dive into a technical breakdown, learn more if you're a coder in the space. Um, here we go. Here's an overview. Uh, in late 2022, we introduced our vision for carbon credit retirement through the Dobu marketplace and by extension, the Hedera network via Guardian created assets. Today, we're excited to share the first stage of the journey our team has made on the foundational aspects of the retirement protocol. So that's what they're calling it. Um, addressing a burning issue on the Hedera network. The lack of a mechanism to burn assets such as NFTs. We present the Black Hole Prototype, a solution designed to overcome this challenge and lay the groundwork for a comprehensive retirement protocol for carbon credits. Understanding the burn problem. Burning assets on a Hedera network is a significant challenge when compared to the Ethereum-based systems. On Ethereum or EVM-based networks, users can send value to the 0, zero address, uh, which is inaccessible due to cryptographic trust. However, Hedera uses a con uh, consent-based mechanism for holding value, which necessitates a unique protocol to enable asset burning. Association is consent to hold value. A black hole is required. The consent-based approach on Hedera allows holders to choose the assets they hold. To address the burn problem, Dovu has developed a black hole protocol that enables individuals to burn NFTs from their accounts to a contract that includes analytics. This value can never be extracted, thus solving the burning issue on Hedera. Say that again. Black, it provides, it enables individuals to burn the NFTs from their accounts to a contract that includes analytics. Okay, so the black hole includes analytics. This value can never be extracted, thus solving the burning issue on Hedera. So once it. Hear that music? Still French.